welcome back to the David Robbins show. I'm called Getting to Know You. I'm David Robbins. And um, today we're going to get to know someone. Um, we we're supposed to have Rob Bell on the show, but he's, he's really busy, so I had to settle for something else. Um, and today we have uh, today we have a guy by the name of Mitch Forrester. Everybody, welcome, Mitch Forrester. It's it's, uh, it's actually Mike, but it's okay. Shut up. Just, just, um, here's the deal. This is your first time on the show, and one I have one rule. This isn't about you. Okay, so. It's just, um, let's try that again. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Everybody, welcome Mitch Forrester. Hi. All right, let me get my notes. Um, now, um, Mitch, you are head of um, an Asian historical culture group called um, Deadly Viper. Do you guys have karate class in Deadly Viper? Um, actually, that, that's a mystery. I used to do. I, we don't do that anymore. I, um, you, um, you, sh you know, you should probably have told me that before. I don't. It's okay. Wait a minute. It's, yeah, no, I'm sure it's okay for you. You just make me look like a jerk. Whatever. It's, um, sorry about that. It's a bad, it's a bad interview. Should have gotten Rob Bell. Um, so then, what do you? What do you do now that you failed with um, Deadly Viper? Well, I, I run a, a ministry called People's Second Chance, and I wrote a book called Grace Anomics. And uh, um, so then, what is um, what is People of the Second Dance all about? Well, it's uh, it's actually People's Second Chance. Well, I mean, like, do you guys go to like nursing homes and give like the elderly a chance to relive their senior prom? So it's like a senior senior prom. Um, no, actually, we're talking about failure and radical grace and life and leadership. So that, it's, uh... <clears throat> spine's kind of hitting me a little bit. I don't know you just you deal with it. Get over it. Um, so now, um, what, ex what exactly is it about again? I wasn't listening. Well, it's about just helping people who have failed and, and need just grace in their lives and just really uh -huh. helping all of us be better grace dispensers and mm -hmm. whether it's our schools or at work or in our families, families, with our friends. Families. Dear friends. We, gotta, we have to do product placement. Today's show is brought to you by The Next Christians by Gabe Lyons. It's um, probably the best book of the year. And a lot of people um, endorsed it on the back. So, um, read it. Um, I heard that you wrote a book. I did. I, I have a new book called Grace Anomics, Unleashing the Power of Second Chance Living. Mm -hmm. it's, got a, it's got a pink cover. <laughs> That was actually a printing error, but yeah, no, you don't, you don't get a second chance when you, when you make um, covers, so it's pink. <laughs> it's supposed to be red. It's but, got it. You know, it's okay. pink. That's <laughs> it's Grace Nomics. Um, how is how is Grace Nomics supposed to um, fix our economy? And don't you think somebody smarter would have thought of it first if it were really going to work? Well, it's actually not about money and the economy. It's about how we can give grace back. That sounds really dumb and boring. Um, so you um, you self-published it, right? Yeah, we did. Is um, that why there were so many mistakes in it? There were a few mistakes. Yeah, I read one um, the other day. I was looking through it. Um, it said, uh, it's pretty typical though in a first yeah, run sort of book. No, most, most good authors don't make mistakes. Um, it says, uh, um, it's a mistake that I found. It says, uh, the sooner we recognize human life is important, the sooner our lives start to feel more humane. Mm-hmm. So that's, no, that can't be right. 
And that is, that's, well, I believe that. Anyway, um, 